We've seen this happen numerous times, and we've seen this happen around the world. So if cyber crime and false hostage threats happen often, the question is, can police detect a hoax faster? This after the Montreal police received a 911 call about a possible hostage situation Friday at the video game company Ubisoft. The six hour operation later called a false alarm. And when it comes to these types of crimes and technology, you don't need to physically be in Montreal. You could be virtually anywhere in the world and make it look like you're actually in Montreal committing these crimes, tying up very valuable resources. This was the scene Friday afternoon in Montreal's Mile End at Ubisoft headquarters. SPVM officers and armored SWAT truck along with a police bus. The operation continued for three hours where police entered the building and escorted groups of employees at a time. Later telling media that the operation was complete and that there was no threat. Luckily, no one was injured. According to Kotak, these employees are the latest victims of an internet age crime called swatting. What a swatter does essentially is trick these, uh, uh, trick the 911 operator into thinking that there is a major incident going on and they must send officers to that location immediately because because life hangs in the balance. Ubisoft tweeting Friday night, we want to salute the courage and composure our team showed today. Our focus remains on ensuring their health and well-being. We would also like to thank the SPVM for their quick and professional response, helping to bring the situation under control. We are extremely relieved this was resolved without incident, and we'd like to thank you all for your support and kind words. An investigation is underway as it is still unclear who is behind this important police force deployment. But Kotak says these internet users are extremely difficult to track down. These things aren't done overnight. This is not you push a button and you get these answers. These cyber criminals are smart. They use multiple um, uh, proxy servers. They put anonymizers. Essentially, they're able to hide behind a computer, bouncing their address all over the world. In Montreal, Melina Jubilaro, City News.